We have made it to Sarong, Indonesia. We just got our baggage, made it through the health screening, easy enough process. And we're going to be in Sarong for one night. This is really the launching pad to Raja Ampat, which is just a beautiful area. We're excited to get there. Uh, but while we're in Sarong, we are going to hit up a couple of hopefully markets, a grocery store. We need to get some supplies for our eco stay that we're going to be at. And the place where we're staying is the Papua Art Center homestay. And of course, here we go right away with all of our taxis. So we got uh, a big uh, icebreaker with the boy here. <laughs> big hit right off the bat. So either way, we are going to uh, find a taxi, get to our hotel, and we'll touch base with you once that process gets going. Our host that we're going to be staying at with the Papua Art Center has arranged a ride. Uh, and that guy's name is Timon, so he arranged his driver, Ivan, to pick us up. So he's going to take us to our hotel. It works great, but again, uh, Forrest being two, totally acting as our icebreaker. So that's definitely the part of the adventure and travel here. All right, made it down the step. So all right, we're going to load up and be on our way. I right, got everything loaded, easy enough. Bye, boy. Hey. Oh, front? Okay. All right. So again, the airport experience at Sarong. Although loud, really easy. Yes. Thanks, Pac. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank okay, you. Bye-bye, Pac. All right. Woo. All right, so leaving the airport again, a pretty easy experience. As soon as you go out the door, uh, there's all types of taxi options for you. And how much does it usually cost for taxi? 100. 100 so about 100 is the average uh, maybe there's some negotiation but it seems like yeah what I've read online is about a hundred thousand which is about seven US dollars is a typical rate for uh, taxis out of the airport kind of into the heart of Saran to wherever your hotel is gonna be it's a fire for the area now the plan is to be uh, here again for one night grab some supplies and then we're gonna head to the marina tomorrow morning to catch the ferry to get out to the Papua Arts homestay. All right, yeah, five minutes down the road. Sista Hotel, easy enough. Swiss Bell's the one that's generally recommended in terms of uh, Western style hotel. So we're gonna stay here again for one night and check it out. <laughs> all right, got all these temperature check stations and just a quick Wrist scan. All right, in you go. All right, temperature is clear. Oh man, AC already feels great. Hello, how are you? Checking in? Uh, maybe you stay in the valley. Uh, please sign, sir. Okay, thank you. All right, check in, easy enough. So that was 1,100,000 for the one night. And I think we got like some kind of King Deluxe room. So we'll go and uh, check that out now. Kind of see what it's all about. This hotel was a kind of, in terms of everything that we find on booking was sort of, I would say one of the more expensive ones. Um, but you know, everything uh, was kind of booked up. There's some kind of convention going on. So I guess we're pretty lucky that we got this room. Tight in the elevator, huh? Uh -huh. Woohoo! Uh, Sarong. Sarong. Summer vacation. Did I hit the button? No. You need a key? Oh, yeah, key. Here. Excuse me. Right angle. There. Now we're going. Thank you. Ah, oh, so three airplane rides to get here. Each airplane ride was about an hour, and we uh, had like 20 minute layovers, it was tough. We had to like sprint from airplane yeah. to airplane, but the and, last one was the same one as that. And everybody was sweaty. Oh my gosh, so hot, so sweaty. Ooh, it's a little dark. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully the rooms are a little brighter than this. This is more like it. All right. Ooh, oh yeah. That's a pretty courtyard. 285. All right, I assume, uh, I assume it's uh, clean, even though that's already been tampered with, but uh, should be good. All right, here, grab that key, please. All right, here we go. Woo. 
Okay, pretty good room. We're all in here, just a basic floor plan. Let's get some windows open. Check out the view, oh yeah. All right, we'll settle in and then do a proper tour in just a minute. Okay, let's do a quick room tour. Uh, Kelly and the kids are heading down. We've got a driver who's gonna take us to the mall to grab supplies for our uh, 10 plus day adventure with Papa Arts. But real quick, while we're here, pretty standard. Like uh, we've got the king bed, the roll away bed. The view is pretty nice. I don't know if I need to get the door open. Oh, that was easy. All right, so the view. It's a nice view. It's a great view. Got the good water there and the mosque is there. We heard, oh, heard the call of prayer already. That was nice. All right, door locked. So, you know, for a million, eh, why not? For like kind of the one night. I don't know if I'd want to stay here for uh, many, many nights or anything, but got a shower, nice big head, toilet behind the door. And that's the room. Okay, so now we are heading to some restaurants. We're going to the big grocery store to uh, grab supplies, like just treats for the kids, the stuff that like uh, Papa Arts wouldn't provide. Of course, they're including breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, more on all that tomorrow. But right now we're heading there to the grocery, to food, and then we're gonna go to check out a market. So, all right, I know this is a choppy video, but uh, it's been, uh, four months since I've done any sort of vlogging and I'm also using the GoPro 9 instead of the Sony. So it's gonna take a little getting used to. I do like this hotel, the Swiss Bell, that open air feeling. And you can see the pool right down there. So we're gonna definitely hit that pool up a little later. All right, back in the car, heading towards the mall. Now, we got a little information about the idea of like renting cars and taxis and how it all works in Sarong. So basically you rent cars by the hour and it's usually the going rate's about 100,000 uh, an hour. So that's about seven bucks an hour. Now you can also take these yellow taxis, which are, I don't know if you can see that, but the one way in front of us is one of these yellow taxis. You just flag those guys down. Now those are a lot cheaper. Those are about 5,000 per person. So, you know, it'd be cheaper for us to take the taxi, but sometimes there's like a communication problem and they, kind of tell you yes they'll take you to where you're going and they end up taking you in other directions and you just have to deal with that i figured for us the kids we haven't eaten dinner yet since we had all those flights today just go with our, our driver uh ivan here who's gonna like hook it up and we know exactly where we're going so to the mall for food for shopping and then if we have time we'll head to the market all right, so we're here at the Saga Market, and the reason you'd come here is to grab any last minute supplies. Again, things like beer or snacks, things like that that the resorts normally wouldn't supply. Uh, but here we're excited to get in there and see what we can find. He's like, okay. All right. <laughs> Temperature checks. Where? Definitely grocery store vibe here, too, at kind of the mega store. So, again, all your supplies that you might want all right so grocery store is pretty busy but it's definitely well stocked there's just basically anything you could possibly need for your stay in some of these uh live aboards or um homestays okay so now we're focusing on uh finding like body soap and shampoo and conditioner and that kind of stuff it's definitely in here somewhere hello all right so they got shampoo and conditioner now we're on the hunt for the body wash all right so again we got the body wash and then I saw something pretty cool I want to check out and that's gonna be the Listerine but they have a green tea flavor so natural green tea I'll give it a try can we get two nasi ayam and then one nasi crispy chicken spicy all right so Kelly's getting all the food figured out and we're just gonna kind of hang out this <laughs> get the whole mall to ourselves up here All right, so we made it to the Sarong Night Market. Now this is a spot after the grocery you can come, mostly for sightseeing, but there is really cool things here. Yeah, uh, all types of fish. And everyone's really friendly. You're gonna have all types of people just saying hi to you and yelling for attention. Oh yeah. Hey Pop. Good, good, you Pop? Uh, I'm a kebab. It's good, yeah. Woohoo! Ah, oh, it's nice. So again, it's just a friendly market. Hey, Pac. 
Hey, punk. I'm a Kamar. Okay? Yeah, photo, photo. Yeah. Woo! You too. Go, punk. Woohoo! Go, oh, see, I see you have the little fishy. Hey, yeah. Baby, baby, baby. Yeah, baby. Two. 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 Buggy. Buggy. Hey, punk. Hey, Buck. Oh, tuna. Baby tuna, baby tuna. Baby tuna, baby tuna. Baby tuna, yes. Yeah. Good. Nice. Baby Cat, tuna. Catch today? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. Big. Big. Big tuna. Oh, so cool. Nice. Thank you, Buck. Not today. Masakua. Masakua. You say tuna? No. In Indonesia, in no. Indonesia. <laughs> next year. Next time. He know. Uh, America, America, America. 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 Yeah, yeah. Indonesia. Yeah. Indonesia. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's nice. Yeah. First time. Baby, baby, baby. Thank, right. you. Thank you, Pac. Three, three, three. Ooh. So just nice people. I mean, everyone's super curious and uh, just super nice. I mean, where are you from? All the usual kind of. Just questions and everyone's been super friendly. All right, see if we can get somewhere with a little more light. Hi, Maggie. How are you? Is this chocolate? Cocoa? Chocolate? Chocolate. How much for? How much for the chocolate? No, not chocolate. No, not chocolate. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Where do you come from? America. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I thought chocolates, not chocolate. Okay. Hey, Puck. How are you doing? All right, you're welcome, friend. Cool. Should we keep going? Name? Ah, Jonathan. Cool. All right. You know Messi? Hey, hey. Oh, Beetle. Pino. This is Pino. Pino. Any... Pino. No, Pino. No. Yeah. What is your name? Pino. Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah. For it. Forest. Oh. Forest. Oh. Yeah. He's two. Oh, so sleepy. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Oh. Malam. Malam? Good night. Malam. 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 Hello. 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 Malam. Malam. Oh, Malam. All right. So maybe if we can get like some bananas or something like that, we should find someone who sells bananas. Hello. Lots of the beetle nut. That's uh, like a nicotine where they chew up. Sometimes with like glide pow powder. But it leaves like your teeth all red. It's kind of gross actually. But there's a lot of people selling it. So this is a nice, again, a nice night market. Everyone's real friendly. Hello. It looks like we kind of hit the beetle nut row here. Yeah, maybe there's more fruit, but it looks like uh, everyone's selling the beetle nut, beetle nut. Hello. But it's kind of like chewing tobacco, essentially. Hello. Baby, 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 No, uh, banana? Banana? Uh, but yellow, yellow, yellow. But there, okay. Oh, 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 oh. So yeah, I want to score a little bit of bananas just for uh, the breakfast. I see the banana lady. Let's see what she's. Uh, yeah, that looks good. So these little, uh, these little bananas are like the best ones. Oh, okay. Hello, Ibu. Hello. Uh, maybe um, maybe banana. Yeah, banana. Maybe, how much, uh, well, no, no, maybe like five piece. Five. Can I buy just five? Or you want, you want, maybe I buy all and you take some. How, how much is one? Ten. Ten. Ten thousand. For one? Yeah, yeah, ten. Thank you. Yeah, yellow, yellow, yellow. I will eat today. Today. Tonight. 
Is it two? It's okay, yellow? Yeah. Okay. Ten. All right, so ten. Not bad. Okay. Uh, wait, bye? Bye? Um, bye is Dada. 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 Bye bye. Thank you. Dada. Dada. So everyone, super friendly. Ten thousand for the bunch of bananas. So cheap. All right, back at the hotel. Kelly, Grant, and Forrest are staying in, uh, getting ready for like pajama time. Oh, Cedar and I are gonna check out. There's this like a little outdoor restaurant. It's this really bright place right here. So we'll see what it's all about. Uh, I think we're on the hunt for some kind of dessert. Maybe like ice cream or coconuts, something sweet. Yeah, we'll just kind of see what they got in here. Uh, it definitely looks cool. Like it's open. I see little kids. Let's just see if they're eating ice cream. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Oh, ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. Woohoo. All right. This place looks good. Oh, there's like a little toy. Should have brought Forrest. What about this? Hello. Uh, ice cream. Order here or sit down. Order here. Okay. All right. Maybe uh, here. Hello. Hey, Pop. Uh, do we, uh, if we want ice cream. Oh, yes. Order here or do we sit down first? Uh, sit, down, please, please. sit down. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks. So as they start bringing out our order, which is going to be all ice cream and desserts, uh, we are going to wrap it up because we have got a early morning tomorrow. So we're getting picked up to go to the ferry at 8 a.m. And there's only one boat a day now, uh, and that's gonna be the 9 a.m. launch time, so we can't miss that boat. So it's gonna be ice cream desserts, and then uh, off to bed for us, and uh, boy, it feels good to be traveling again in Indonesia. How's the ice cream? Good. Yeah, it looks like kind of like a, like a, what do they call it, like the, the worms and the ground up uh, cookies on top of vanilla, like mud, yeah. mud pie? Is that what they call that? Yeah, that's called mud pie. Mud pie, anyway, it looks delicious. So. For us, that's it. We will see you in the morning.